This video is brought to you by Ultium Designer. In today's episode, I'm going to build a home security system using Arduino, GSM, and a microwave sensor. This project combines technology and innovation to create a robust and invisible security solution for your home or any valuable property. To detect any movement or human presence, I'll be using the DF Robot Gravity Microwave Sensor V2.0. This incredible sensor is specifically designed to detect moving objects, humans and animals. Its microwave signals are powerful enough to penetrate through walls, doors and similar objects, allowing it to detect any intruders or moving objects even when hidden from view. To send security alerts and notifications, I'll be integrating this GSM 900A module into my home security system. This module allows us to send messages directly to our smartphones when the microwave sensor detects any suspicious activity. It ensures that we stay informed and can take immediate action if needed. And as usual, I'm going to use my designed Arduino Nano and LoRa based development board, but you can also use Arduino Uno or even Arduino Mega. My designed Arduino development board has the advantage of having this 5V and 3A power supply. So I don't need to use a separate 5V regulated power supply for the GSM 900A module. This 5V and 3A power supply is more than enough to power up all the electronics. So without any further delay, let's get started. This is the Gravity Digital Microwave Sensor V2.0 from the DF robot. This microwave sensor is able to detect objects without physical contact. Its readings are not affected by temperature, humidity, noise, air, dust or light which makes it suitable for harsh environments. This sensor also has strong resistance to radio frequency interference. Due to its low output, it's not harmful to the human body. Since this sensor uses microwaves, and you know microwaves have a wide detection range and velocity equal to the speed of light. This digital microwave sensor also supports non-life class object detection. Its working voltage is 5 volts. Working current is 60 milliamps maximum and 37 milliamps typical. The detection range is from 2 meters to 16 meters which is adjustable. You can use this blue color potentiometer to set the detection range. For other technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The red wire is the 5 volt, black wire is the ground and green wire is the output. This is the GSM 900A module. The first thing you will notice about this GSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Because voltages greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts, but you can easily power up this GSM 900A module using a 5 volt and 2 amps adapter. If you don't have a 5 volt adapter, then you can make yourself this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I have a detailed video on how to build yourself this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. There are a few things that I really like about this GSM 900A module which are this is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano etc. And also with 3.3 volt controller boards like Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and ESP32 etc. The GSM 900A module interfacing with Node MCU ESP8266 and ESP32 I have already explained in my previous videos. Anyway, I have also a detailed article on the GSM 900A module explaining its key features, functional diagram, pins description, its applications, how to use it, it's spin out and 80 commands so i highly recommend you guys should read this article on the gsm 900a module now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections i have connected the microwave sensor and gsm 900a module to the arduino nano just don't get confused with these other components just concentrate on the connections i'm about to explain connect the vcc and ground wires of the digital microwave sensor to the arduino vn and ground pins let me also tell you on this development board, the Arduino VN and ground pins are connected to the regulated 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. This power supply is more than enough to power up the Arduino, 
microwave sensor and the GSM module. If you want, you can connect other components too. This power supply is fully tested and I have been using it to power up even high torque servo motors. Anyway, connect the signal wire to the Arduino digital pin D2. Connect the power supply pins of the GSM 7900A module to the regulated 5V and 3A power supply. Connect the TXT 5V to the Arduino digital pin D3 and connect the RXT 5V pin to the Arduino digital pin D9. So that's all about the connections and if you have missed anything then you can follow this circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the home security system programming. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultim Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and SolidWorks, PTC Crew, Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest company search engine, Octopart, so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. This is the home security system programming and more than 80% of this code is from my previous invisible security system project. This time round, I also added code for the GSM module. Anyway, before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you install the MS Timer 2 library for this. Simply copy the library name, go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. I've also added the software serial.h header file with the help of this library. I can define multiple serial ports. As you can see, using the software serial, I have defined another serial port using the Arduino pins 3 and 9. I could also connect the GSM module to the Arduino default serial port but I used it for the debugging purposes. Anyway, as I said earlier, majority of this code I have already explained in my previous invisible security system project. So let's go to the loop function. When the movement is detected, the Arduino sends the motion detected alert message to the specified cell phone number, which is aided in the send SMS function. Make sure you change this number before you upload the program. And I would like to remind you one more time if you want to study in detail about these 80 commands, then I highly recommend to read my article on the GSM 7900A module. Anyway, I have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the Arduino and microwave sensor based home security system in action. I have already inserted a valid SIM card and I can power up this project using 9 to 28 volts power supply. First, I'm going to start with this 12 volt and then I will also test it using my created for its lithium ion battery. Initially, when we power up the GSM module, this LED blinks at a faster rate, which means the GSM module is not connected to the GSM network. Normally, it takes a few seconds, but if on your side it takes longer, then you can do a little bit of troubleshooting. Like, for example, you can remove and reinsert the SIM card and make sure your power supply is at least 2 amps for the smooth operation. And also make sure your GSM module IMEI number is not blocked by the GSM network. Anyway, if this LED is blinking at a slower rate, as you can see, it means it's connected to the GSM network. You can see as soon as the microwave sensor detects any movement, an alert message is sent on the specified number.
to make it a portable security system you can use a battery in my case i'm going to use this for a lithium ion battery let's say i want to detect any movement in this room and i also don't want the security system to be visible to anyone so i'm going to place it over here I'm outside the room and I'm going to ask my cousin to go inside and let's see if I'm going to receive the alert message. This is simply mind blowing and now with this smart security system I can secure any place so that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.